So we're here at the mobile compute area, and uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Lauren. I work for Qualcomm. I do business development for our mobile computing business unit. And I'm very excited to introduce you to Seishu, who's going to show you uh, some of the cool areas that we're focused on in mobile computing. So mobile computing is a big deal. It's like, uh, this is a computer powered by Qualcomm. It's not just a phone. Is is the next level? Yeah, well, it's a new paradigm, right? Uh, today, our, ba our our bags are getting heavier and heavier. You're carrying a smartphone and a tablet and a computer, and we think that there's new ways of working, and so we're looking to use Snapdragon to power those new ways of working. You're showing off the HP Continuum. Yeah, it's uh, the, actually the HP Elite X3 Fablet. Here it is. Uh, it's a 5.9 inch uh, display based premium tablet that's uh, based on uh, Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 820 processor which is our latest and greatest uh, high-end uh, premium tier uh, Snapdragon processor. That's the fastest ARM processor in the world, right? Uh, that's Yes, and it's based on uh, uh, our own proprietary uh, CPU architecture called Cryo, which is based on ARM instruction set. And uh, many, many products have been launched at CES as well as uh, uh, at this show already that are based on uh, Snapdragon 820. You will find that it's essentially the premium uh, smartphone chipset that is going to be uh, sold in 2016. So HP has built a Windows 10 product uh, using this uh, chipset, Snapdragon 820. And uh, Qualcomm and uh, Microsoft had a, have had a very long and very close partnership where we're bringing Windows on ARM based SOCs, uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon. And we've done several generations of it already. And uh, in 2015, we've introduced Windows 10, uh, which is, uh, as you know, a breakthrough new operating system introduced by uh, Windows late last year. So this is now based on Windows 10. And Windows 10 has some very unique capabilities that are worth highlighting. Number one, uh, it runs all the universal apps that uh, Microsoft has in their portfolio. And secondly, uh, Windows 10 has this capability called Continuum, where when you have a mobile device running Windows 10, yeah. and you dock it, as you have done it here. You have a nice dock with all these crazy connectors in the back? Exactly. It connects to uh, a screen and a, and a keyboard, yeah. and yeah, yeah, essentially it becomes your PC. So yeah. as yeah. you can see that it's docked right now, and when it's docked, on the screen you see what is called a desktop very cheap and you can run all microsoft applications uh, in desktop mode all your office uh, link uh, or anything else that you have uh, in the microsoft uh, pro uh, app portfolio you can run them on desktop mode using continuum and it works beautifully so the idea is that your tablet is your mobile device and it's also your only computing device that you can take it with you wherever you go and when you're at home all you have to do is dock it and it becomes your PC and it is able to offer you exactly the same applications that you would use on a PC uh, uh, and all you need is a keyboard and a, and a, and a display and essentially anybody can dock their uh, uh, tablet and it becomes their personal PC. Because the, and when, the you, when you're done, you take your phone with you and you got everything that you have uh, on your PC in your hand, in your pocket, so that you'll uh, never away from your data. Because the Snapdragon 820 is so amazingly powerful, it's hard to use all its performance just on a smartphone. You want to get it to a bigger screen. So you're that's a big right. deal for Qualcomm, right? That's correct. You're right. We actually designed the Snapdragon 820 to be able to offer exactly this type of uh, scenario because Snapdragon 820 has the CPU and the GPU and the display uh, uh, driver power to be able to drive a 4K display. So you could have a 4K display, which doesn't make much sense perhaps on a smartphone because the screen is very small, but when you have a larger display, 4K is actually a great thing to have. So the CPU in uh, this tablet, which is Snapdragon 820, can not only drive differentiated user experiences in the tablet, but can also do so in the desktop mode uh, as is demonstrated by Continuum from Microsoft. And it's multi-core processor with uh, asymmetric aspects and stuff like that, and, uh, and uh, it's like a heterogeneous, but you, you really, you, you can multitask, you can have multiple windows and stuff, right? Absolutely. I mean, Snapdragon 820 is the absolute cutting edge of uh, SOCs 
it's the best SLC in the market right now. And we always take advantage of heterogeneous processing in all Snapdragon processors. In particular, 820 integrates, obviously, the things that you'd expect in NSSC, like uh, high-end CPUs and GPUs. Uh, but in addition, it also has some new capabilities, like a low-power sensor island, so that you can have sensor hub capabilities now integrated into the SOC. Nice. Uh, so this is uh, this is really uh, fascinating and awesome. And uh, so the idea here with HP is the enterprise market. The enterprise uh, they want Windows. They like Windows. Uh, of course. I mean, HP has a tremendous amount of value add on top of Windows 10 in this product uh, because they're able to integrate this capability with the rest of the HP portfolio, so that when the enterprise purchases this device is fully integrated with the back end uh, of both enterprise as well as HP. HP has a capability called HP Workspace that they offer yeah. where you can actually run a lot of enterprise legacy apps uh, in the cloud uh, that don't necessarily have to be on the device. Nice. There's even a virtualization of x86 apps, maybe through the cloud, all kinds of pot potential that people basically don't need their... Potentially, they wouldn't need their Intel machine anymore. They can just do this. I believe the HP Workspace does offer compatibility and backward compatibility of legacy apps. All right, this is awesome. Intel's 60 gigahertz solution.